When it comes to underrated players, there are a lot of them out there in our generation. And Barcelona have had their fair share of really underrated players who've always played in the shadows of big stars like Ronaldinho, Messi and Neymar. One of them is Pedro, an attacker who was never seen as Barca's best player, yet he was crucial in big games for them for years. How did he manage to be that important and to establish himself as a Barcelona legend? Well, that's what we'll discuss in this video, so make sure to stay tuned. On the 12th of January of 28, Pedro made his official debut for Barcelona against Real Murcia, but his first full season would be the 28-29 season. That season though, he would only get little game time, as Barcelona's attack was stacked with names like Messi, Eto'o and Thierry Henry, and he wasn't the biggest talent in the world who was going to compete for a spot in the team with them. He wasn't like Messi, like Bojan or like Ansu Fati would later go on to be. Dribbling, impacting a game for the full 90 minutes and being a constant threat to the defense, those weren't his biggest qualities. Despite all of that though, Guardiola believed in him. And when Barcelona lost Eto'o and Thierry Henry that summer, Pedro was one of the players Guardiola trusted to fill up the gap that they had left. Obviously, he wasn't as talented as Henry or Eto'o, yet he managed to score 23 goals and deliver 9 assists that season. In that same season, Zlatan Ibrahimovic played for Barcelona, and he played less games than Pedro and only managed to score 21 goals. In the 2010-2011 season, in 53 games, Pedro scored 22 goals and delivered 13 assists. He was one of Barcelona's most important players when it came to goal scoring, and we're talking about arguably the greatest football side of all time here. He was never seen as a big talent like Messi, yet he managed to be this crucial. Also, it was especially when Barcelona needed him most that he scored. Against Real Madrid several times, or against Man United in a Champions League final, he scored in the biggest of games and was the example of a big game player. Those two seasons, those are considered as Pedro's prime years. In two of Barcelona's best ever seasons, he was a keystone player for Guardiola's team. Eventually, in the following years, Pedro started to get less and less playing time, with the likes of Fabregas, Alexis Sanchez, Neymar and Suarez joining Barcelona. He might not have been as talented as them, but then again, Again, were Barcelona ever better in those years than in 2011 with Pedro in the team? He ended up with 99 goals and 62 assists in 321 games for Barcelona when he left in 2015. And he will forever be remembered as a Barcelona legend. But after having said again and again that he wasn't talented, yet still managed to be important for the Blaugrana, we now finally have to look at why he actually managed to do it. What are Pedro's actual qualities in the first place? Well, he's never really been a dribbler. The only things he was really good at were making runs in behind the defense, he was very intelligent in how to position himself and when to start running, passing and seeing where the ball needs to go was also one of his qualities, and he was great at finishing off chances as well. Other players like Ibrahimovic might have been better at shooting from distance and dribbling, but what it all comes down to is that Pedro was the perfect player for Guardiola's system. Guardiola didn't need Ronaldinho's or Neymar's. He had a system that was built around Messi as a false nine. Messi would play in the striker position in the center and would often drop into midfield. That way, Barcelona could dominate the midfields because they now had a diamond shape of Messi, Iniesta, Busquets and Xavi. In the meantime, they needed to keep the pitch as wide as possible in order to stretch out the opposition defense to have more space to play in. In order to keep the pitch wide, it was important that Barcelona's wingers, David Villa and Pedro, stick to their side. And Pedro was exactly the kind of player who was disciplined enough to always keep on fulfilling his duty. Now, if Messi dropped into midfield and the wingers were wide on the pitch, the opposition's defense was just screwed. The centre backs could either stay in behind, but that way Messi had more room to play in, and you don't want that of course. Well, if they followed Messi, there was suddenly a huge gap of space for the wingers to run into. One of Pedro's biggest qualities, remember, was that he was great at timing his runs perfectly and knowing when to and when not to go for a run. His reading of the game was exceptional. That kind of player was just perfect for the system. Barcelona had someone who understood Messi, Villa and the midfielders, and who always made the right decision. To top it all off, as you know, his finishing was great. So, Pedro's set of qualities was really just perfect for Guardiola's system. And players that might have been better, like Ibrahimovic, purely looking at quality, didn't fit into the system as well as him. Pedro was just the perfect example of a system player. And he was exactly the player that Barcelona needed in that role for them to be the greatest team in the world. Without him, this team just wouldn't have been that good and maybe not won as many trophies. He is a real Barcelona legend and probably the most underrated one. That was it for today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and feel free to share your own opinion in the comments down below. Forza Barca, Forza Pedro and have a good day.